Red Edition, welcome and happy day. Things which will disappear in our lifetime. The post office, the checkbook, the newspaper, the reading book, the landline telephone, television, privacy. That's kind of a big deal. Privacy has already kind of disappeared. That's the worst of them all. There are cameras and streets and buildings, elevators, computers, cell phones. There ain't no privacy anymore. Soon all that will be left that can't be changed are your memories. And you know what? Alzheimer's might come and take those away as well. <laughs> oh boy, I mean, I'm depressed. How about you? An economics professor at Texas Tech recently said he failed very few students but had once failed an entire class. And that class insisted that socialism worked and that no one would be poor and no one would be rich is a great equalizer. And the professor then said, okay, let's have an experiment on this and cha-cha. So that's what he did. All grades will be average and everyone will receive the same grade, meaning obviously no one will get an A. They all agreed to that. That's the student body, of course. In the first test, the grades were average and everyone got to see the students who studied hard were upset that the students who studied little were happy. But as the second test rolled around, the students who studied little and had studied, this time they even studied less, and the ones who studied hard decided they wanted a free ride too, so they studied less. A lot of less going on here in the second test. Average was D and now nobody was happy when the third test happened. The average was an F, and the scores never increased as bickering, blame, and name-calling all resulted in hard feelings. Sounds like liberalism, hey. And no one would study for the benefit of anyone else. To their great dismay, the professor failed them all. Then he sent them all of this note that said, a socialist government will also ultimately fail, because when the reward is great, the effort to succeed is great, but when the government takes all the reward away, no one will try or want to succeed. <clears throat> kind of an old story. But we keep doing that as a society. We kind of keep going towards the left, and then we always come back to the right. It's kind of an interesting thing, you know, left and right, because the left has to have the right because they need somebody to fund their experiments all of the time. The right doesn't need the left. Duh, go away. <clears throat> Here's a guy, his name is Walter Gray. He was the mayor of uh, Kelowna, British Columbia for some time and he decided not to run again he's retired but then so much for retirement because the day after he announced that he wasn't going to be mayor he was appointed to the new chair of ICBC's board of directors ICBC stands for the insurance corporation of British Columbia and Walter goes on here to say that as this appointment you know it's a big honor in the cha-cha and I'm gonna make sure everybody's affordable this is affordable for all of all of that stuff you know Walter what you should do is maybe throw in some free enterprise there because you took away the people's choice there's no choice. You either get insurance through here or nowhere. And when he was mayor of the city, Fortis, that was an electric company, they were the same. I mean, the city also had an electric company and they in turn sold it to Fortis. There's no choice. There's no choices in a left-wing society. You gotta have choice, competition, etc. So many people say government-run insurances are cheaper. They're not. They might be lower priced, but they ain't cheaper because the money comes from the taxpayer in all kinds of different ways. Ah! Female concealed carry. That's where you get to carry a gun, you know, it's up, or you're sitting down. This is a startling number, 793% in one county in Colorado. Boy, 793% women have said, hey, we want to protect ourselves now. Our husbands are either gone, <laughs> they went away, or they died, or I don't have one. And I want to make sure that I'm in good shape in terms of uh, looking after myself and my family. And also, they have fun. Well, that's kind of neat, you know. Buffalo, New York. Here's a photo of uh, a truck that was involved in this huge snowfall that they had there. Unbelievable. I mentioned this to a guy that I know in California the other day, and I said, aren't you lucky you don't get snow here? Look at this picture. I showed him this picture. He looked at me and he said, Brian, he said, look at our political landscape here in California. We get snow jobs every day. <laughs> Y'all come back tomorrow. We'll get up more for you from the right. See ya.